आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ मेमोराइजिंग टर्मिनल कमांड्स जस्ट लाइक इट्स 2005? से हेलो टू आर द नेक्स्ट एन ए आई पावर टर्मिनल दैट इज नॉट ओनली स्मार्ट बट इट्स एजेंटिक ए आई स्मार्ट वेदर इट इज अबाउट क्राफ्टिंग वर्क फ्लोज और सजेस्टिंग द राइट कमांड वर्क हैज गॉट योर बैक विथ एजेंटिक ए आई सपोर्ट यू डोंट इवन नीड टू नो कमांड्स जस्ट टाइप योर गोल एंड बूम इट हैंडल्स द रेस्ट आई विल शो यू हाउ वर्क टर्न्स योर टर्मिनल इन टू अ पर्सनल कोडिंग असिस्टेंट फर्स्ट हेड ओवर टू दियर वेबसाइट एंड गेट इट इंस्टॉल लेट्स गो Well, there are two different ways of accessing AI features in Warp. The first one is by using AI-based command suggestion, which you can start by pressing hashtag followed by your command in natural language. Let's say you want to create the zip of these three files. So for that, I'll type hashtag and give my prompt. So based on that, you can see here it is suggesting me the actual command. And the other way to use it is through agent mode, which you can start by pressing Ctrl and I shortcut key, and you can type your command in natural language. Now in this method the AI will figure out everything for you even if your command involves multiple steps it will do all that job for you you just have to give your confirmation now i'll show you different use cases of agent mode okay let's say i want to know the ip address of my network interface so for that i just have to press control and i and the command can be anything like uh, what is the ip address of the wifi interface and you can see here it has typed the very robust command for it and it has summarized the output at last so the ip address is this now let's perform dns lookup using warp so for that press control and i and type your command uh, let me say let's say something like uh, perform dns lookup of domain google.com and you can see here it has executed the tick command and at last you can see here it has given the summary of all the output okay now let's do something more interesting now i'll ask it to create an entire react application and the prompt will be like create a project in react to build a beautiful user interface to ask users to subscribe the channel binary refresh try to be very creative with the design let's see how it is going to do you can see here it has started creating the npm packages and it might ask you different inputs uh creating the package you just have to fill in the values and at the end it will give you all the code that it has written and it's on you whether you, you want to accept it or want to refine it further now let me accept it for now and see the output and it will even start the development server of by on so let me accept it and here you can see the output it's pretty amazing in terms of user interface but i feel like it has slightly misunderstood my intent but design wise it is awesome so that's warp ai for you subscribe for more